Crosscut Saw, Albert King. Hi, I'm Red, and I'm here today to help you take a look at the song Crosscut Saw. It's a rumba, but very often found in blues jams, uh, any place where you're going to hear the blues, you're very likely to hear the song. We're in the key of C, and it's a 1-4-5 pattern. So we have a CF and a G. We can use a variety of chords. We can use major chords, seventh chords, sixth chords, ninth chords. Um, there's just um, a load of options. I'm going to demonstrate a few of those options. And I'm going to uh, basically roll through the track one time. I'm going to play some rhythm. Then I'm going to roll through it a second time, play some lead. Then I'm going to stop and talk about what I've done. So here we go. Okay, so in the rhythm, you know, I was trying to mix it up so I could give you some ideas of different things. I started off with a, a C seventh, and I was arpeggiating it. You could do this all the way through the song, um, or you could start strumming. You know, you have a lot of different options. Like I said, you could also use a ninth chord. With the sliding six, gives it a real sweet sound. For the four, you could use a ninth chord with sliding six, same for the five. Um, another option is you could use a seventh chord, and here's a real cool move that you can do with a seventh chord. From the five chord, watch what I do here now. Let's get you a little better view. Okay, I'm just playing a G7 chord right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this finger right where it's at, but I'm going to move these two fingers up one fret. Five chord, four chord. I'm just playing three notes right now. I'm playing the second, third, and fourth string, but I made a four or a 5-4 move right there. Just turns it into a 7th chord. So what we've got is a, a G7 and then we've got an F7. Just a different voicing of it. Cool move. As far as the lead stuff goes, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, passing tones. Um, in, a, um, in a rumba, I find that the ones I prefer the most are the guys like Albert King and, oh, definitely Gatemouth Brown. I mean, these guys put a lot of humor into their solo, and I think that's important. Anson Funderburg, Freddie King, uh, you know, a lot of the Texas guys um, do that. They put that humor in there. But I, I think that's, to me, it's an important component. You can, you know, you can just try to emote that humor somehow, or you can find a lick that emotes it. You know, so if you're playing major pentatonic licks, you know, the B.B. King box. <laughs> Box. 
you're connecting it to the minor pentatonic. See, I added that sixth in there um, as a passing tone. There's your six. If you want to add humor and you're looking for a lick, here is a humor lick, the chicken lick. I'm right here at the 11th fret on the second string and the 13th fret on the first string. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of a, a bright picking thing going on here with some right hand muting happening on my thumb. That little bend up, and that gives it a chicken sound. The old chicken lick. So there's some stuff to help you spice up your rumba, your version of Albert King's Crosscut Saw. Thank mm -hmm. you.